everybody, and welcome to Pirate TV. The weather's been crazy lately, huh? Yeah, one day it's below freezing, and the next day it's in the 80s. Let's go, Devin, with the weather forecast. Oh, hi, Pirates. I'm Devin Daniels with your new weather and science report. As you can see, oh, last weekend, it got pretty cold. Down here, it was really breezy, windy, but it looks like it cleared up and it, might, it got pretty warm over the next week. So you ever wonder why you have to wear four layers one day and then you're in a t-shirt and shorts the other day in North Carolina? Well, that's because we're in the temperate zone, which isn't too close to the equator, but not too close to the Arctic either. So we end up getting a little bit of both uh, types of temperature and uh, that's necessary for any sort of system to function, for there to be variation. So we have to have these fluctuations in the Earth's climate system so we don't get too hot or too cold. So, as you can see, the weather's gonna be pretty rough outside here on Monday, but hopefully by Friday, we'll have some nice clear sunshine for the weekends. And, that's hopefully what we can ask for this North Carolina weather. Back to the anchors. Speaking of it getting colder, haven't you heard about the ugly sweater run? Well, I'm not that much of an athlete, so uh, no. Well, let's go look at some fashionable athletes. Hey, it's your boy T. Wu coming at you live from the football field, and I'm here with Gabe Patton. What you doing right now, Gabe? Training for the ugly sweater run. Hold on one sec. All right, so tell me about the sweater on. It's going to be Saturday, December 3rd at Corn Polders High School. 8 a.m. registration and the race will start at 8.30. Bring your ugliest sweater and run the 3.1 mile run. The goodie bags and a one mile fun run for the kids. All proceeds go to HOSA. All right, I'll make sure I go. You heard it here first. Come join us for the fun and don't forget your ugly sweater. See, there's no shame in running in ugly sweaters. Well, it definitely won't sell at the art sale. The art sale? Do you not know about the art sale? Let's go find out. Hey Pirates, the holidays are upon us again. And if you're looking for the perfect present, the holiday art sale is back. Hosted by the art department and NHS, along with art patrons, this year you can pick up mugs, wreaths, general decorations, and even phone cases. All of these and much more will be on sale Wednesday, December 7th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Media Center. This is your one and only chance to go get the creations that the teachers and students have created. All proceeds will go back to the CHHS art program. Man, those art pieces sure do take a lot of talent. Yeah, speaking of talent, did you go to the Pirate Follies talent show? No, I didn't. Let's go take a look. <laughs>
mean, it must take a lot of equanimity to perform on stage. Equanimity? Yes, equanimity. Did you not look at the script before we started filming? I'm new here. Well, let's go to the SAT Word of the Week. Maybe you'll learn something for once. It's time for the SAT Word of the Week. This week's word is equanimity. That is E-Q-U-A-N-I-M-I-T-Y. Equanimity. So I'm here with... Stephen Clark. Sarah Freeman. And the SAT Word of the Week is equanimity. Do you know what it means? Is it when you make money off of something, like an investment? Like being bad or like naughty? <laughs> I do not. I mean like unequal? Did you say epidemic? No, <laughs> equanimity. I don't, something crazy wild, I don't know. Something about a math equation? Something in the brain? Tap. Ask Trey. Uh, ask John. Mm. It sounds something like equal, so I'm guessing it's like, you know, balance maybe on both sides. It sounds like something to do with money. <laughs> what was the word again? Equanimity. <laughs> Equanimity. <laughs> well, it means undermined, under stress, like balanced. Okay. Did not know that. It's good to learn that. Well then. I don't think unequal was right. <laughs> it really means um, like under my under stress, like balance. Hmm. Okay, oh. like balance, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, putting students in the spotlight sure isn't as stressful as anchoring. I'm sure it's not as stressful as wrestling. I'm sure that takes a lot of equanimity to perform. Let's go take a look at our wrestlers. Pirate blood coursed through their veins. Be proud of who you are and what you are. Be a pirate. Everybody understand that. Be a pirate. I wonder if any of them will become professionals one day, like Hulk Hogan. Well, maybe they will if they're financially literate. I heard there, isn't there an event for that? Oh, let's go take a look at the financial literacy night. On December 7th, from 6 to 7.15, here in the Media Center, we're gonna have a guest speaker here to talk to juniors and seniors and their parents about financial literacy. This is a free event. We're gonna have some great refreshments and door prizes of prom tickets for those who come. And if you are interested, it's a great opportunity to learn about budgeting after high school and that mysterious thing called a credit score and why it's so important that you see it all the time on TV. We're also going to learn about things like when you should start thinking about retirement, which sounds really strange when you're still in high school, but a lot of people don't think about it until it's way too late to start planning. And it's also going to be a great time to learn about how to pay for college if you're interested in going without going into a lot of debt. So this is a great opportunity for our juniors and seniors to come and learn about financial literacy. It's a free opportunity but you need to make sure you sign up in advance on the Media Center website. Well, hopefully I'll be financially prepared for my future. Yeah, me too. I hope it really helps lead people down the right path. And until then... This is Pirate TV, signing off.